Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why you're not woke as fuck. Okay, there is, you know, people going around, they say, oh, I'm woke as fuck. Basically, they're saying they're aware of things. You know, they say stay woke. You know, people are, are saying these things, but most people are not awake. Most people are asleep. Right. So most people aren't woke. So what does it mean to really be woke, right? You know, basically what it is is this, is that, you know, you need to actually be aware of what's really going on out here, right? Just in life, in reality. I was listening to a lecture by a guy named Alan Watts, and he said something to the effect of a skilled person lives on two levels, Right. And basically what he was saying is this, is that, you know, you live in the world, but at the same time, you are not, you know, of the world, basically. That's like the gist of it. I'm just paraphrasing. And so what that means is that you live in the world, you, you know, you do your regular things, you go to work, you go to school, you pay bills, you know, you eat, sleep, you do it, whatever. So you're living in the world. But you're not of the world, meaning that you do not get bogged down by worldly things or you do not get, uh, you know, upset and frustrated by, you know, the ways of the world. So when you understand that, when you are able to live that way, that's when you're actually woke. See, because let's say you have two guys, right? And both of these guys are businessmen and they're trying to make money now you have one guy who's woke and one guy who's asleep now the guy who's asleep most he might think oh i need to get this money in order to get happy in order to be happy right the guy who's asleep is thinking that the guy who's woke is like, hey, you know, I'm in business. I'm getting money through my business to pay bills and to, you know, buy things and do all that other stuff. But with or without the money, I'm still going to be happy. So the guy who's asleep, he is basically waiting on the money in order to be happy first. The guy who's woke understands that he is happy regardless of what happens with the money. Right. So the thing is, is that a lot of times in life, we are caught up in labels. We're caught up in our ego. We're caught up in, you know, the ways of the world. And that's the thing that makes us upset. That's the thing that frustrates us. That's the thing that gets us all, you know, really, you know, like depressed and angry all the time. But see, when you're actually woke, a lot of those things that would have gotten you upset and depressed and angry and all that it doesn't really get you like that anymore because you understand the truth and you understand the truth is that life is basically a game so you know you calling yourself black you calling yourself white you calling yourself asian those are labels and that's part of the game like i had this girl one time who i was talking to and you know just a friend or whatever and she was basically saying like you know, doing the saying the whole, oh, I'm woke as fuck shit and all that. And I was like, okay, cool. So what do you mean by this? What do you mean by you're woke? And she's like, oh, well, you know, she's like, I only, um, I'm, you know, she's like, I only date people within my race because I'm woke as fuck. And she's like, well, you know, I know that's what I'm supposed to do because I need to stick by my race and all that other stuff. See, she doesn't understand that she's asleep. She's still asleep. Because, you know, your quote unquote race is, you know, that's all a social construct. Now, out of that social construct, we get racism. But the concept of race is a social construct. And it's a social construct that creates separateness, makes us, you know, think we're separate. Where we're basically all one right so when you're woke you you start to see that when you're actually woke you start to see the bullshit 
that is in life. And you, you know, you don't get caught up in the bullshit. Right? You know, when you actually think about it and you understand that, you know, we're all going to die one day. And then, you know, you you even realize this, like, let's say you're at someone's funeral and, you know, you start to reflect on life and you start to think about, you know, what's important in life. Or you start to think about why was I so upset and angry and pissed off about certain things? Think about something you were angry and pissed off about five years ago. Does that thing even matter anymore? Right. And, you know, a lot of times the reason why we're so upset and we're so frustrated because I was talking about this earlier is we're trying to feed our ego. We have a certain way we look at ourselves. And if our ego is attacked, we feel threatened. See, and if you feel that way, you're not woke, you're still asleep. Because you haven't realized that the labels you put on yourself, you know, you're you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a teacher, you feel good about that. So if something happens where you're no longer a doctor, a teacher or a lawyer, you feel upset. You feel like you're not you're not worthy. You feel like you're nothing. You feel like you have nothing to live for. You feel like, you know, your your identity has been threatened. So who are you? Right. And you get scared because you are asleep. You don't realize that being a doctor is just a label. You cannot be a doctor and be a garbage man or be a, a, a truck driver or whatever. It's just, you know, it's it's the same as changing your clothes. You wear a blue shirt today, you wear a red shirt tomorrow. It doesn't fucking matter. But see, that's the thing, though. When you are woke, you realize that it doesn't matter. Somebody called you an asshole. Somebody made fun of you. It doesn't matter. Because the reason why you're upset is because you're trying to protect your identity. You're trying to protect your ego. They said you're not a good doctor. Oh, uh, what? I'm the best doctor. You see, you're, you're asleep. Somebody says you're not smart. What do you mean I'm not smart? I'm like the smartest person I study and I do. You're, you're asleep. Wake up. See, if you are woke, you start to realize and see what's really going on. So you can live in the world, you can play around and you can have fun while you're doing what you're doing. But you're not of the world, meaning that you are not attached to all of these things. You're not attached to your label of a doctor or lawyer or black or white or Indian or Asian or you know, person from the Bronx or person from this side of town or a person from this school or person from the, like all of these things that are attached to you, you are not attached to it when you're woke. When you're asleep, that's when you are attached to it. That's where all your frustrations come from. That's where your anxiety comes from. Right? See, a lot of people who are still asleep, you know, they're trying to chase things in order to be happy. Right. And it's interesting because the thing is, is that nothing can make you happy. And if you break down even that phrase, nothing can make you happy, it's basically saying no thing can make you happy because you're looking for things to make you happy and therefore you're not going to be happy because you don't understand that no thing can make you happy you're just constantly doing things you're constantly striving to get things so that you can be happy but no thing can make you happy see you end up being uh you know a human doing instead of a human being See, all this stuff is right in front of our face. If you are a human being, that's the thing that you need to explore when we talk about happiness and stuff like that. See, you can be doing things as we're always doing things, 
But the thing is that if you're doing things to try to be happy, then you're always going to be unhappy because you're, it's never you're never going to get there because you don't need to get there because it is here now. The happiness is right there. It's like you're you, you're you're looking for your glasses and it's on your face. You're searching a house for your glasses and it's on your face. But you don't realize it yet. Why? Because you're asleep. So you guys got to stay woke. Thanks for watching and please share this video and subscribe and also click the link below or go to LocarioMotivation.com to get the free audio program, Eliminate Your Insecurity, How to Build Your Self-Esteem and Be Confident.